Hi everyone, welcome back. And this video is going to be a little bit funny because we are going to use Gemini Pro in this video to create a Flutter app, which again uses Gemini Pro to get some data. So let's do it, right? It should be fun. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to go to makersuite.google.com. Yes, uh, now it is called Google AI Studio, but it was uh, Maker Suite as, as such. And once you start it for the first time, you have to just agree to some terms and services. And then you have to go here and you have to click on get API key. And here you can create a API key new project. For example, I have already created a new project. You can see the date it is for today. And uh, here we have uh, the API key. I'll just click on it and I'll just copy this for my future reference. And here we can see a lot of options. For example, we can have a free form prompt, structured prompt or chat prompt. Let's use free form prompt. And right now it's free of cost. We can choose the model on the right hand side. For example, Gemini Pro, Gemini Pro Vision, Gemini Pro is what we want. We can set the temperature so it can range from zero to one. Zero means very, very specific to what you write. And one means it can be very creative. So let's set it to 0 0.1. Uh, we don't want to play much with that and output length is 2048. I think we can keep it till 16,000 if I'm not wrong. Oh, uh, okay. Or maybe 4,000 somewhere around that, that this is the token uh, length. Okay. And then that's it. And then you can write something here and um, you get output out of it. For example, I want to create a flutter app. So I'll just say create a flutter app which uses Flutter app, it should be, which uses Gemini Pro API to list the wonders of the world. Let's say this is something which we want, okay? You can use HTTP package for network request, okay? Um, and list view dot builder to render the UI. Um, here is an example of the request or let's say curl request. Here's an example of the sample curl request let's say okay and then we can provide the sample that uh, what kind of sample it would be so you can click either on this get code and it will show some options out of which let's use curl and uh, we have something something over here so let's copy all of this and then um, we can paste it over here so let's say we do here is we paste it and um, we remove certain things because otherwise it won't be able to understand. So safety settings is something which we don't require right now. So let's eliminate all this. So this is the sample curl request and text uh, is, uh, let's change the text to something which makes sense. For example, list all the wonders of the world in a list format. Okay, so this is what we have. And now um, let's run it. Okay. And once you run it, you will see it starts generating something over here. And okay, we see some code is coming. And it will take some time, but it's actually fun. So basically, we are using Jamini Pro to write Flutter app, which itself uses Jamini Pro to get this thing okay so that's the funny part actually <laughs> okay we got some data and we can either accept it or reject it so let's accept this response and what i'm gonna do is i am going to just copy this code from here till the end and we did it and now i'll do is i'll open dartpad.dev rather than setting a new id and all those things let's not do that and once i paste it uh, there are some issues which I can see like the key and the title, which is fine. Like for example, I can just make this title required and this key is optional. Um, there are minor changes only. 
I think uh, there is one more thing on line number 62 is this URL, which is actually a string. So we can just say URI uh, dot parse, I guess. Yes. And then maybe we can pass the URL. Um, that should fix the issue. Yeah. So we have major things ready. We have to just replace it with our API key, which we can again get from here. So let's uh, let's open it in a new tab. And uh, let's get the API key from here and copy it. And in the dart pad, we can paste it. So let's paste it over here. Okay, we are majorly done. Let's try to run this app and see if everything is working as expected. And if not, then why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some response, but I think there is some issue uh, because we don't see anything over here. So let's do one thing. Let's try to print the data because then uh, we can see that what might be causing this issue. Let's run it again. Let's also open the console so that we can see if we are getting the data or not. If we are getting it, then how and why it is not working. So the data is something which is something we are getting, but it is coming in a format called, let's say candidates as a list, which is zero, which is fine. Then we have content, then we have parts, and then we have text, which is not the case here. It is showing it in a different way. So candidates and zero is fine because this is our zeroth part of our list, but then we don't have output, but rather we have content. And inside content, we have something called parts. And then again, the parts is a list. So we can get the zeroth of parts and then we can just get the text. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see if this works this time. Um, and then we are just uh, splitting it and all those things. Let's run it and let's see if everything works. And guys, please don't use my API key, please. I beg you, you can create your own. It's free of cost as of today. Okay, so everything is working. Uh, let's see if we get the data. All right, this is natural wonders of the world and we are getting everything. We could have showed some, uh, let's say, loading indicator or something. For example, we have this, um, what what we are using here, wonders.length, right? So for wonders, um, I think it is what, it is a, an empty list, that's why it's happening. So we can either say that if wonders dot length dot is um, wonder is empty not length let's say if it is empty do we have empty something like this then we can just say in the center let's say a circular progress indicator maybe progress indicator Okay, let's see if I can write code without using any ID. Oh, that's fine, I guess. And let's run it again. And uh, this time we see the circular indicator which is looking exactly like how we wanted. And let's see if we get data. All right, perfect, perfect. This was fun, right? <laughs> and we didn't do much. We generated the application using Gemini Pro and uh, inside the application again we are using gemini pro so it was a very quick tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because most of the time you don't su subscribe and i'll see you in the next one please write your thoughts about gemini pro in the comment section and uh, yeah if you have any other thoughts that also you can write that's okay okay all right guys see you in the next one